this is a Raspberry Pi with the new screen and here we've got a temperature sensor and here we've got a 433 transmitter and this is standard boiler and this is a wireless receiver which is going to talk to the 433 um, so here we go, this, the pie's booted straight into the uh, deck, struggling to get the light right, it's too bright, so if we click on, let's just close the door, see if that helps, there we go, right, click on life support, at the top, now you see we've got temperature sensors around the house, um, these are mostly stubbed. So we've got Attic, Brabus, Seller, Damocles, Eden, Forno. Uh, we've got a mean internal temperature, a mean external temperature because we're reading from outside. Rolling external temperature and the required temperature at the moment is 16. So the boiler is off. Okay, central heating's off. So we're going to set it to something ridiculous. So we want it toasty. So let's set it to 24 degrees. Okay, so you can click on that properly. So you can see I set it to 22 at the top, but 22 degrees. So that's set it to 24. Okay, so it's modified to 24. So I'm just going to wait for that to refresh because I don't want to recycle the boiler too much. So uh, when the boiler, the boiler is supposed to receive a signal every four minutes. So we'll just wait for that to kick in. Uh, so the boiler either receives an on or an off every four minutes, so just keep an eye on that. You see the rest of the functionality here, so we can turn, there's a power option there, so we can turn on and off sockets there. Um, so they're standard energy sockets there, have been driven from the same 433 transmitter. And what else have we got? Um, go back to the deck, and uh, we've got a uh, Canon, which is our outdoor water pistol, we can switch that on and off. Uh, we can control the Veluxes upstairs. There we go, so we can off open, all open. Again, we've got temperature sensors, but. And finally, we've got holiday mode for the boiler. There we have it. So let's wait for life support to kick in. So it's still saying false. You see the required temperature down here, set to 24. Um, so obviously we have a look at the mean internal temperature around 15 degrees. So because it's cold in here, it's, it's my garage, it's not actually a cellar. Um, but it's 15 degrees in here and we need it to be 24, the mean internal temperature. So you can see it's just sent the 433 transmitter through to the boiler. So the boiler's now switched on. And in a minute, since the wireless system's gone on, it sent a 433 code. Um, so we should see the boiler ignite any second and the middle light should come on. There we go. And it's warming up. You can see 38, 39, 40, 41. So that's the temperature of the outgoing radiator water. Now let's just check on life support, should have true now. So you could get it switched on instantaneously, but the problem is you'd cycle the boiler too much. Uh, I'm a bit reluctant to do that. So it's gone to boiler true now. So it sent the on signal to the boiler. Um, there we go.